What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is a series where I go into great detail with all of the stats, as well as some excellent attachment combinations for every gun in Modern Warfare 2. And in today's episode, we're going to be moving into the last of the sniper rifles, and this is the SPX-80. And starting it off as always, let's have a look at our body multipliers and ranges. And as we can see here, from 0 to 44 meters, we have an incredible one-hit kill potential anywhere in the body aside from the legs. So even in the hand, it's a one-shot kill, just like with the LAB-330. However, it is worth noting with the LAB, this maximum damage range is only 35 meters, so the XPX has a very noticeable advantage here. But then from 44 meters to 51 meters, this is where we lose that elbow down one shot kill potential. So forearms and hands will yield a hit marker. Then from 51.6 meters up to 59.7 meters, this is where you lose all of the arm multipliers. So now it's just anywhere in the torso, neck or head for a one shot kill. And then finally beyond 59.7 meters, this is where you have to hit them in the upper torso, neck or head if you want to maintain a one shot kill. Overall, this gun is incredible in this area. While the LAB does beat it out with its minimum damage range, so it doesn't drop off to that upper torso one-shot kill until 71 meters. Like I said earlier, our maximum damage range from 0 to 44 meters, that's going to cover most of the gunfights in 6v6, and therefore you should see very few hit markers with this gun, unless you're shooting through some form of cover or aiming for the legs. As for a rate of fire, this is the fastest out of all of the bolt actions at 50 rounds per minute, so a rechamber time of 1,000 to... So a rechamber time of 1210 meters per second. And our aim down sight time is also the fastest in the entire sniper rifle category by a large margin at 531 milliseconds. This is incredibly fast for a sniper rifle in this game at least. And then finally here we have our sprint out times, which are about average for a sniper rifle. Realistically, these sprint out times aren't going to come into play unless you're hip firing out of a sprint. After that though, let's have a look at our bullet velocity, which is pretty standard for a sniper rifle in this game at 780 meters per second. And then let's have a look at our hip fire, which again is just standard here. It's just tied with all of the other bolt action sniper rifles, so no surprises there. And then let's get into our default sniper optic comparison here. And it's worth noting, this actually uses the exact same optic as the LAB-330. And what that means is it's actually a variable zoom optic, and we can zoom in with this if we choose to. As for recoil, it is worth noting this is one of those sniper rifles that doesn't recenter at all after a shot that you fire, so you will end up kicking right up to the sky if you don't manually correct for that. And now let's talk about mobility, and our base movement speed is best in the sniper rifle category. As you can see, there's definitely a trend throughout this video, and it's the same story with our sprint speed. This is the fastest in the sniper rifle category, whereas our aim walking movement speed, while it is well above average, it's just slightly beat out by the Signal 50. Next, let's have a look at our reload add time, which is tied for the fastest in the sniper rifle category with the LAB at 2.07 seconds. And if we use the eight round magazine on this, that will slow our reload add time down to 2.23 seconds. Now let's have a deeper look at the attachments and how they impact our aim down sight speeds. And as you can see here, we have three barrels that improve our aim down sight speed and only one that hurts it, which is quite a bit different than most of the other sniper rifles. We've only got one rear grip that helps aim down sight speed by 12 milliseconds. And then both of the stock attachments actually improve our aim down sight speed as well with this gun. So there's lots of room to improve your aim down sight speed with this compared to many of the other sniper rifles. After that, let's have a look at our bolt attachments that change our rate of fire. And the first bolt will be reducing our rate of fire down to 46 rounds per minute, whereas the FSS ST87 bolt will increase our rate of fire all the way up to 59 rounds per minute, which is very solid for a bolt action sniper rifle. But then finally for the stats of this gun, I did want to take a deeper look at the barrel attachments and how they impact our ranges as well as our bullet velocities. And as we can see here, all of these barrels will be hurting our range values, but by varying degrees. It ranges from a 6% reduction all the way up to a 17% reduction. So you may want to keep these in mind while creating your class setups. And it is worth noting that even though all of them reduce our ranges, one of them actually improves our bullet velocity by a fairly noticeable margin. And that is the 22 inch cavalry barrel. And with that, it's finally time to get into some excellent attachment combinations I've got for you guys. And the first one I'm going to share is my aggressive build. And this is definitely my preferred class setup when using this gun. Because in relation to the other sniper rifles especially, the SPX is really geared toward aggression. So with this, we're using the 18.5 inch Bryson LR factory barrel, the OLEV laser, the VLK4 optic, the PVZ 890 tack stock, and then finally that ST87 bolt that improves our rate of fire up to 59 rounds per minute. And with this combination of attachments, our aim down sight speed is incredibly fast for a sniper rifle in this game at 380 milliseconds. This is 150 milliseconds faster than the base aim down sight time that's already really good, so this is amazing. 
Also, our sprint out time is slightly improved. Again, it's never really going to be an issue unless you're hip firing out of sprint, which you generally shouldn't be doing unless you're point blank range. And then finally, our muzzle velocity, while it is reduced, it's not reduced by a large margin. This is still a very solid bullet velocity, at least for 6v6 at 729 meters per second. So there we go, that's the first build and by far my favorite build with the SPX-80. I love using this. You can be really aggressive and quick scope like crazy. And also it's just really versatile because you can also take on fairly long range fights with this just fine. As for the next build that I've got for you guys, this is my long range build. This one's designed much more for like ground war or invasion or perhaps even DMZ or war zone. And with this, we're using the Schlager Peckbox 4 laser, so we don't have a visible laser beam, but it still helps noticeably with our aim down sight speed. We once again have the PVZ 890 tack stock. We now have the Bruin Lynx grip, which helps with flinch resistance, and that's really nice to have on this. We're once again using that ST87 bolt for the faster fire rate, and I'm also using high velocity ammo since this is designed for the really long range fights. We do want this to feel essentially like a hit scan. And with this, we once again have that improved rate of fire, obviously, with that bolt. Our aim down sight speed, while not quite as fast as my aggressive build, it's still incredibly fast for a sniper rifle at 481 milliseconds. And our bullet velocity is incredible at over 1100 meters per second, which means you really don't have to lead moving targets a whole lot or account for bullet drop unless you're at ridiculously long ranges. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up for today's gun guide on the SPX-80. As for my thoughts on this gun, it's obviously the best sniper rifle in the game, or at least the best bolt action. It is different from the Signal 50, so that's kind of in a category of its own. But compared to all the other bolt actions, this gun is better in literally every single category that really counts. So not only does it have the best one-shot kill area tied with the LAB, its maximum damage range is better than the LAB, so it beats the LAB in that area. It's got by far the fastest aim down sight speed, which is incredibly important with a sniper rifle. Fastest rate of fire out of all of the bolt actions out there. Fastest movement speeds. It's just the best at everything when compared to all of the other bolt action sniper rifles, and therefore it's the best bolt action in the game by far. Now, of course, that is just my opinion, backed by a lot of objective data, and I think it would be hard to argue against this being the best in the game, but I am still curious to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think of the SPX-80 in Modern Warfare 2? Do you agree with me? Do you think it is the best bolt action? Or not so much? Just let me know down below. Also, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guides, I will leave a link to the playlist in the description of the video. If you enjoyed this one, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.